Let's take you back to our first story from Kaduna State, where we told you that no fewer than 10 students uh, were reportedly kidnapped by yet-to-be-identified persons in Kachia local government area of the state. And uh, our reporter in Kaduna, Lupe Asom, is joining me now to bring us up to speed. Lupe, what do we know at this time with regards to the kidnapped uh, students as well as those who kidnapped them? Have we been able to identify who they are? Well, just as you read in that report, we're yet to, we are yet to get reports of the identity of those people who attacked this college. But what we do know is that at least 10 students were reached away by these gunmen on, on Monday. Of course, uh, it's what the report has done is that it has left a lot of residents very, very devastated. Of course, they were already celebrating some sort of uh, a return of uh, relative peace in that region. But then this news of the kidnap of 10 students has actually left a lot of people very, very devastated. Kachia is about 92 kilometers from the metropolis here. And uh, we recall that just on the 25th of March, uh, oh, a, a, a pastor was killed and his wife adopted in that region. So news like this have left a lot of people very, very devastated. Of course, uh, the military have also been doing a lot in that region. Just, uh, on the, just two days ago, over 10 bandits were killed, bandits camp were attacked, and security agencies were reassuring people of improved efforts to end insurgency, end terrorism and kidnapping. But of course, this news has come as a very, very devastating report. And I must tell you that a lot of people are very, very apprehensive. Doesn't a lot of persons will be curious to know if um, there is any information with regards to the parents of uh, the students that were kidnapped uh, is there any information on them? Sorry, can you come again? I said a lot of persons would be curious to know if there's any information on the parents of these students, what the state or what the situation is with them, if they've received any calls, so to speak. Well, of course, just as I told you, Kachia uh, is about 92 kilometers away from this place. We are yet to get full reports of uh, the state of that place. But what we know is that when situations like this happen, you find the parents coming to the school, crying, trying to uh, meet with the security authorities, trying to meet with the school authorities to see if anything can be done to, 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 to get their students, to get their children back. But at the moment, what we do know is that security operatives are on the matter. Samuel Aruan said that... Uh, more efforts are being carried out by security agencies to ensure that uh, they try to maybe just salvage the situation. But at the moment, we don't know uh, the current state of things in that place. But what we do know is that uh, the security agencies are doing their best at the moment to try to see if they can salvage the situation. We know that the Kaduna State government had at some point shut down schools just to address this matter of uh, students being kidnapped. Just give us an overview of what the security situation is like with schools in the state. Well, of course, last year when we had uh, a reoccurrence of these, these kidnappings, what the government, the, the immediate response was to shut down schools in areas that are very, very prone to these attacks. But at the moment, this particular college that was attacked is a day college. It is located in Kachia, it is a dope college. The, the government also issued warnings to schools in uh, areas where uh, bandits could easily access and kidnap students. So that is the situation. And of course, uh, the service chiefs were in Kaduna State over the weekend. The Minister of Defense was also in Kaduna State. I, while engaging them, I asked them, they, they were actually appreciating the improvement of the security situation in the Northeast. And I asked them, I said, how about the Northwest? They said, of course, a lot of progress has been made in the Northeast, but then the Northwest is still very, very challenging. So they said they are also working to see how they can improve the situation, how they can deploy more troops and try to, to improve the security situation in Kaduna State. But for the state government, they have issued warnings to schools located in areas where bandits can actually have very, very easy access. And that is what they have done. And they also tried to shut down some of those schools. A couple of schools are still shut down at the moment. Uh, as part of activity, as part of the proactive measures of the Kaduna State government to ensure that 
students are not being abducted. Right. We'll leave it here now, but we'll keep tabs with you for uh, any updates coming out of Kaduna State with regards to this uh, kidnapped students. We move on now. With